These images appear to show a moment of Israeli victory in Gaza. Men purported to be Hamas fighters captured in Gaza stripped to their underwear with one handing over his rifle. Except it was staged. In a second version, the rifle is in his other hand. And experts have questioned why Israeli soldiers would strip a captive and then order him to hand over his weapon. A stage event designed for the purposes of public relations. The fact is that they actually did more than one take in order to get the perfect shot of this Palestinian man surrendering. And this man wasn't even a, you know, a Hamas fighter. He, he ran an aluminium workshop. Right? So there's no evidence that he was even a Hamas fighter. Uh, the fact that they asked him to do it more than once, this take, was obviously clearly for the media. It's not the first time Israeli efforts at propaganda have failed. Another similar alleged scene of a surrender also steered controversy. The Israeli army claimed these images show Hamas suspects surrendering themselves to Israeli troops. But several people say some of those being humiliated in front of cameras are relatives and friends with no relation to Hamas. One is a journalist with an Arab news outlet, Al Arab Al Jadid. There is a list. There was also a video by Israeli list, military spokesman Daniel big, Hajari, where he claims a piece of paper on a wall in a Gaza in hospital operation. shows the names of Hamas members Israel. guarding Israeli Guarded captives. In the 7th of October, this is a guardian list. Where but it's just the days of the week written in Arabic. Has his own these kind of Hasbro moments, these propaganda events, are both designed to, you know, um, show to the Israeli public that there is this uh, strategic victory, but also to inflame Palestinians and flame pro-Palestinian supporters into getting angry. Because when people are angry, they're less likely to reconcile. And we've seen Israel engaging this anti-diplomacy, this method of trying to resist any measures to bring around a ceasefire. So no Propaganda has always been a weapon of war uh, and is commonly used to shore up support at home and gain sympathy abroad. Social media has made it easier to circulate campaigns, but it's also made it easier for the public to spot flaws and inconsistencies. And while many claims are easily disproven, they can distract from the bigger picture, like the growing number of Palestinians being killed in Gaza. Ali Hashim, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.